Hello, this is Ashur. As we talked about last one, in part one, we should to answer the questions about fluency, how to be fluent. Now, let's compare two criteria, quantity and quality. What is quantity? Quantity is the amount of time you spend in learning English. Is it effective or not? Many years, English learners learn English in school, but they are full of memorization and long lists of words, stress, they're bored, or not folks, there is no folks. But it's still better than zero, you are, le you are learning English. But how about the quality? Quality is the use of English, how to use it. If you want to be fluent, you must be power. You must have more concentration on that, on that subject. You must have an emotion, high emotion in learning language. And now, let's compare two person, the natural person, the natural one, and the other who is champion. Let's compare how much time they spend in working. The first one, the natural person, spend, for example, two hours in a day, and the next one spend, for example, 15 hours in a day. So there is no balance. This gap makes the champion is very professional and fluent. More emphasis on fluency. Fluency is a measurement both of production and perception in a speech. Fluency is being able to speak easily, smoothly, and uh, quickly without any pause. Fluency is one of the critical building blocks of speaking. It is directly related to the comprehension. You should produce more sentences, more utterances, comprehensive utterances, and uh, understandable. Now, let's have some steps for smooth speech fluency. Number one is role playing. Perform national written dialogues. Put yourself in a context. Find or choose a partner and work together. Speaking. Very easy, very easy and natural dialogues. Everyday dialogues. The second one is speak slowly. Don't put yourself in a rush. Step start slowly. Don't talk, don't speak very rapidly. The fourth one, breathe naturally. Avoid rapid breathing. Put your breath in a balance, not deep and slow, not fast. Put it in a balance. The fifth one, practice public speaking. Put yourself before the class, before your relatives or family, before your friends. Work with the public speaking before the audience. And then the last one and a very important one, practice and practice and practice. Now, in fluency, there are some tips. Number one, start believing in yourself. If you believe in yourself, you have, you have a confidence. You are high in your self-confidence. Don't afraid of speaking before the audience, before the class. The second is listen. Keep your ears open. Always listen. Don't put your listening away. The third one, make the mirror your best friend. Stand before the mirror and work your speaking. The mirror shows your weakness, your strength. The next one, read full sentences. Reading full sentences or paragraphs or phrases, uh, it makes you, you are not worrying about the grammar. If the sentence you are producing or uh, saying is not grammatical or not. Uh, on next video, we'll talk about how to improve our fluency in part three. 
Please follow us and subscribe our channels on social media. Thank you for watching.